Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Xanthus Gaming. We're here today in Sunday's Sky Pick Up where we left off last time and uh, grab those loot bags. We're gonna run up to a trader, see how much stuff we can sell, and then we're gonna look for cars to take apart. Hey, that solves our food problem. Cars to take apart so that we can uh, get going on another blade trap or two because we're gonna need lots of oil. Alternatively, we can always look for some desert and try to find some oil shale, um, which could be, an, I think I accidentally scrapped that instead of ate that. Find some oil shale, which could help us solve our issue as well. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we can see what we can find. I so far haven't found any desert in this playthrough, so I don't know that that's going to be the solution, um, but maybe, maybe. Put that drying so when the next horde knight comes along we can upgrade it. Oh look, robotics parts. Nice. Very nice. We want those. Making more junk turrets is definitely something we want to do. You know, I think our junk turret's out in the middle of the road um, from our previous horde knight. I just forgot to go get it. So we should probably get that too. Um, yeah. Pretty sure that's what's going on with that. t-shirt all right cool so i'm gonna drop off some inventory stuff back at base grab the stuff that we want to sell and then head up to the trader and i will see you guys up at the trader all right so i had a few extra perk points lying around so i went ahead and picked up the ability to make oil out of oil shale i found that i had 18 18 oil shale laying around in our inventory but it does require the chem station to make it. So we're going to go up to a trader and hopefully they have a working chem station. I think they do. It might have been a different playthrough, but I thought this one did. Uh, so we'll go check that out along with selling them all the stuff out of my uh, trader cell chest. I also read and learned the treasure chest map or treasure map. Um, so that is, where's that? Show on map. Oh, it's way up there. Okay, so it's north of the city it looks like by a little ways um not too far actually might be worth doing um that might actually be worth doing before the trader just because it almost always gives things like gems uh yeah we might have time for that let's let's give it a go we'll see might be pushing it a little bit um but i think we're gonna want to do it either way so it makes sense to do it now when we know we need the dukes for something that we want. Um, I think it makes sense. How much does a box sledge take at this point? Six for a level two. I should have six, I think. Because I got two off of a bag. I think I had two before. And if I buy another one, I'll have two more. So I can make a level two sledge short. Or I could wait and invest more points, make a higher level one, but it take better or more parts, so. Important to keep track of where the iron nodes are. Because we're going to need quite a bit of iron if we're going to be using steel blade traps. Um, so we'll have to come out and make a little iron mine later. I have three iron nodes marked, I want to say, at this point. So... We should be okay on it. I just have to take the time to mine them out one of these days. All right, here is our treasure dig circle. I love that they added that in. Can you not roll away from me, bike? Thanks. So let's kind of start in the center here. And we'll see which way it narrows after we've dug the requisite number of squares. Keep in mind that the surface soil has more durability than the soil underneath it. It's uh, 300 versus or 250, 250 versus 200. So whenever possible, it's best to go down a couple and then go over underneath it. That way, you're not digging a bunch of topsoil to start. Just makes digging treasure maps that much quicker. Focusing on the undersoil as opposed to the topsoil. 
So it should be narrowing it down here any second. I believe it's eight squares and that narrows it down. Actually, it doesn't hurt to have all this clay from digging out treasure maps either. Um, okay, so there's the narrow. Let's see where we're at. Okay, we were in the center before. It narrowed it a ton towards that way, so it means we need to come over this direction with our digging. Okay, that's fine. That's kind of the direction we were going anyway. That's fine. All right, so I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I'll, I'll do most of this digging off camera because it does take a little bit. Um, and I'll cut back when we found the treasure map with you guys. All right, see you guys in a minute. Well, we've been digging a whole lot. Um, the thing is narrowed several times. Um, I'm not quite sure where it is, but we did hit a point where the rock was higher up than before, so we've kind of come up and over a little bit. Um, so, oh, hold on. As I say, so I'm, I'm wondering if it's actually higher in elevation, but we found it right as I was saying that, so... Okay, so now the next step is we have to pick the lock. I forgot about that. Um, because it's not a quest-based one. We have to, uh, we have to break into it, so... I'm gonna whack away at it with my pick, and, uh, I'll see you guys in a minute or two. Okie dokie. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely worth it. Holy spicoli. Alright, um... We unfortunately don't have room for all of it. So we'll have to make some decisions here. Obviously we're taking the gems. Machine gun parts are a no-brainer. We just scrap that. So we only have to really lose one thing, per se. Plant fiber can go away for machine gun parts, sure. Now let's get out of here. I don't think the zombies show up when it's a treasure map. Yeah, that's just for quests. So, sweet. Uh, so we got several thousand uh, dukes there. Which makes that very, very worth it for us. Uh, we gotta hightail it over to the trader, though, to try to see if we can buy our our sledge part. And I sadly don't think we'll have any time for oil today. Uh, but hopefully he has a working chem station we can just craft ourselves the oil. So, we'll be there in just a minute. Alrighty, made it over to the trader. Let's see, does he have a working chem station? I think he does. Hallelujah. Oh, we don't have enough oil shale. That feels bad. Takes 24. Didn't realize that. Well... We'll leave it there in case we find more oil shale later. At least it'll already be up here. Say la vie. Oh well. Alright. You, however... Don't wait. Let a zombie dog bite Before you in the we do that... And if he does, eat hey, the sugar butts. We'll take care of it for you. So that she gives us a better deal. Sell a bunch of gems. Sweet. Nice. Oh my gosh, so much gold. So many dupes. Much wow. Much, much wow. Let's buy that robotic sledge for sure. Um, advanced bellows schematic seems like something we should grab. Probably don't need the bar brawling. Veggie stew recipe would be good, except we don't really have the ability to grow much of anything at the moment, so... It's not that big of a deal. Cement mix would be nice. 3,000 for 750. Sure. It might have been a little bit of a waste, but gives us a nice head start on some of the stuff we want. Uh, I regret it now. We could bob motorcycle chassis been part of the way there to a motorcycle. Uh, we can craft that now. When I when I did two in Grease Monkey to learn how to make oil, um, it gave me the ability to make motorcycles, so we'll be there. 
before we know it, really. Uh, machine gun, a tactical assault rifle could be pretty good. Uh, we do have quite a few bullets of that type, so that might be worth grabbing. Yeah, why not? Makes sense now to me. Let's right. scrap the other one and I'll recraft. Alright, great. Looks good, looks good. While we're here, we're just gonna buy some food. Because, like I said, we are a little low, so we might as well, right? We got plenty of water and stuff, just a little bit low on food. Alright, nice. Well, we have just... Oh, look, a wandering horde. I say we have a few minutes we could look for cars, but we could just kill these guys. Yeah, sure, why not? We don't have a whole lot of movement speed right now. We're pretty encumbered. So this might not be the right decision, but that's fine. I think we'll be fine. A couple of the hazmat guys behind us as well. Let's go get them. There they are. But this wandering horde is pretty scattered, isn't it? Good experience, though. Oh, shouldn't have done that. How's stamina? Okay, I really love that, uh, that book we read that makes our spear so much stronger. It really makes a big difference in killing things efficiently. Now I just need to get better stamina regen, honestly. Might need to be putting some points into sexual Thrasaurus and things like that. Get better. Whoa, you got up to me way quicker than I thought you would. You must have done it in rage. Need to be kiting back towards my bike. We have a horde night coming up soon. Come on. Was that, yeah, it was a sledge turret. I was say, wait, was that a sledge turret or a junk turret? It was a sledge. All right, uh, right back to base and be ready for the horde. We're going to let that last little guy go there because um, I don't think we have time to kill him and get back to base. So it's going to be tight as it is. No detours, no distractions. Straight back to base. Luckily, base is pretty close uh, to town, so... Yeah, it's see-through. That's funny. It's a uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Yeah, base is really close to town, so no big deal, really. Oh, ouch. All right. Sweet. Let's see how many robotic parts we have. Six. This makes eight. Oh, hello. It's... Wait. I scrapped it, but it didn't go away. Okay, that's a glitch. We're not going to abuse that. Let's get rid of it. We're not going to dupe an item. <laughs> not about that life. All right. Um, ba -ba -ba. yeah, so we have nine. If we actually put a point into the robotics inventor, gives us quality three. That takes eight. So let's put another point in. 
Oops. Let's go over to base. Oh, shoot. Let's turn our base on. Uh, yeah, I did repair that good. So it takes 10 now. Now we have, we're one short, but we'll get another one in time. I'm not super worried about that. We'll find more. I want to craft, my next one I craft, I want it to be as good as possible, so. That would have been funny if we would have gotten it right there. I would have laughed quite a bit. Uh, speaking of parts, we have quite a few. Oh, wait, that doesn't turn into steel spear parts, huh? Interesting. Oh, because it's an iron spear, right? We can probably craft a much better iron spear at this point. No, it's still level 2. I wonder what you have to up to get better on that. Probably whatever gives you like a spear or power to be like javelin something or another right javelin master that makes sense now we'll invest in that down the line and getting all of our traps and everything up to snuff first is a better investment honestly going well. Yep. There's a vulture. I think that was the only one. I can tell that there's a vulture because I hear the sound of something hitting my base. I'm like, hey, that's gotta be a vulture. Hey, more water. I'll take that. I wonder what that bag has in it. Ooh, lots of ammunition. Oh, we can test out our new gun. Nice. Seems to work pretty well. Gonna get this bad boy repaired. Ooh, level six armor, very nice. Very nice. Our game stage is at 44. Still pretty low. We should start seeing cops pretty soon though. I think cops start showing up around 50. We should definitely be ramping up here. level there. Cool. Oh, I like this gun. It's very effective. I think I could probably sell that for a pretty penny. 56. And eh, not as much as I'd hoped. Probably don't need the buckshot, though. Alright, cool. Another loot bag over there. Ooh, more motor parts. Very nice. Very nice. Read the advanced uh, bellow schematic. Cool. Looks like about it for this one. Unfortunately, still not able to craft that next blade turret, but we definitely made some progress uh, this this uh, this episode, I guess. We got some better armor. We got more. Uh, we 
More dukes. We almost have the number of uh, oil that we need, but not quite. Got a little bit of food as well. Should be handy. Recovered our turret, which is good. Oh no, pretty good. Good progress. Okay. Got a new gun. Love the new gun. Motor parts. I wonder if we have enough to make like an auger or chainsaw or something like that at this point. Oh, they're, they're locked behind actual books now. That's right. Yeah, we'll just have to get lucky and find the book. By the time we do, we'll have plenty of parts, though. So that's fine, honestly. It's not a big deal. All right. We have a lot of cement. Uh, so before we end out this episode, let's go ahead and do some base upgrades. And then uh, we'll end out. So let's see what we can do. Dang it. Get ourselves trapped in a door, apparently, is what we can do. Alrighty, um, so this is all fine the way it is for now, the flagstone. We definitely want that entire interior wall there. Cobble, one walkway space after the electric fences. Uh, one walkway space after the electric fences, but before the electric fences we have a wall, is that correct? Yes, those should be actually arrow slits to make it easier to run the lines, but I already goof that up apparently, so say la vie. Uh, but yeah, so there should be a wall directly in front of these. So we'll do that. Uh, because this is what's going to stop the zombies from just walking their pretty little butts over to us. So we'll just leave a gap on the third block up, right? Yes. So we'll do too high for now. Come on. Stretch Armstrong over here. I can just go down there, I suppose. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. And then it needs to come over to like here, I suppose. Uh, is that where we had that one end? One block over. Yep. That's fine. Cool. That way we can uh, prepare to put in the blade traps on this side too. We can't do that until we have a solid wall here protecting the uh, electric fences. And also just stopping them from walking straight over to us. Those parts actually super necessary. Um, and then, suppose we need a ceiling as well. So we'll go like that. I mean, yeah, that's fine. As long as the spot where the actual electric fences are is arrow slits, it doesn't matter if the other ones aren't. It's a little bit sloppier than I would usually build this, but... It's been kind of an organic upgrade process rather than building it all at once kind of thing. So it's fine, honestly. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and then, I mean, theoretically, we'd have tripwires and dart traps all the way across. But I don't know if I'm going to actually use the dart traps. Um, they seem really resource intensive. The blade traps seem like a much easier way to accomplish the same thing. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm not sold on them as of yet, I guess. I probably need to take that out as well, but. All right, I think that's good for this episode. I should probably have my junk turret down so it's actually helping me as well. So we're ready for the next four day with that. There we go, let it knock them back into the other blade trap over there. Yeah, I think that's it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, favorite, share, subscribe, and we'll be there, be here for the next one. Things are starting to turn our way which means we'll up the difficulty soon. Um, yeah, I think actually I'll put a hard deadline on myself. Uh, 
let's say day 25. Sure, that's a random number. We're on day 21, so day 25. At day 25, we'll turn the difficulty up to insane and just see what happens. Well, okay, maybe not insane. Uh, let's look. What are we at right now? Bright Adventurer. So day 25 will turn up to Survivalist, which is one below Insane. We'll see how it goes. If it's still too easy, we'll turn it up to Insane. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, favorite, share, subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.